हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज ईटेल टेस्टिंग एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड ईटेल टेस्टर इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो बेसिकली आवर बेसिक रोल इज टू वैलिडेट व्हाट एवर डेटा वी आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम सोर्स इट्स कम एग्जैक्टली गेट इंसर्टेड इनटू द टारगेट सिस्टम आफ्टर अप्लाइंग सम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो व्हाट एवर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड to perform on the source data that should be done and data should be uh, inserted into that uh, target system but without the any data loss or any duplicacy okay so suppose this is the source 1 and source 2 we have to um, ingest both the uh, uh, sources data into one system so suppose here we uh, uh, we are using azure so with the help of azure we have to ingest the data from both the source 1 and source 2 and store it into a block container block container is basically a place where we have to dump the all the source data what uh, in the exact format so here in blob uh, container we are not going to perform any transformation we are basically just dumping the data from both the sources and uh, keeping a uh, some uh, like uh, we are just creating a exact copy in the blob container so from the blob is to uh, container now we have to perform multiple uh, uh, like transformation so suppose uh, uh, like uh, count validation aggregation all this kind of um, calculation we have to perform from here onwards okay so now uh, so suppose uh, we are receiving files in this format okay so file contains the information of the employee and their city details so this one is the data and whatever you are uh, seeing here like uh, start date end date insert date and active flag these are called the meta tags so in etl terminologies we are called these are the meta tags okay and uh, so suppose uh, these are the first file we are receiving from source uh, source 1 so we have to process it so when we are going to process this file first time that is called a full load because uh, in this way because we why we called it full load because earlier we don't have any data in our target system okay so here here we in our target system we don't have any data so we have to perform the full load so first time or maybe you can call it initial load means after transformation whatever data we are receiving from source we are uh, just um, inserting into our target system now what happens suppose in the next run so suppose this is our today's data okay this is of 25th march 2023 data which we have processed uh, one time but in next day what happens uh, suppose we we are receiving one file but there is a change so don't uh, consider all this uh, fields detail for um, file purpose so these are the basically a uh, database structure but in file we are receiving data in this format only like uh, first name last name city and prod id these details we are getting okay so these are the meta tags that we have created in our uh, table just to identify which one is the recent record so in the first run that is the initial load we have inserted all the complete three ids into our target system so suppose there is no transformation is like a one to one mapping so we just insert all these three records in, into that target table now uh, suppose uh, now tomorrow we are receiving the same file but there is um, one update okay what is the update um, now Uh, that uh, neha has changed her city from that uh, previous uh, one is the mumbai so mumbai to bengaluru so this time we are receiving um, uh, one update in our file that is for neha so how do we identify it that there is a that neha has changed her city so for that purpose we are we have created these many multiple tags okay so these are the start date it start date means basically uh, when the date got inserted so in the initial load 
the start date would be same 25th march 2023 and end date is maximum end date if it is a new record so maximum end date will always be the back state like 9999 okay so now in now in the second load what happened when we have received one update for this record so we will uh, if um, so we are following scd uh, type 2 okay so slowly changing dimension so what happens in the next run when we process this file we will call it delta load okay this is not called a full load because we, uh, we already have some record present in our table so now this time we have to trigger that in um, that uh, delta load okay so it what does it mean delta load means we have some existing records present in our uh, ta uh, target table now we have to process only our that updated records or whatever change happens in the uh, existing record that will get updated and if there is any new record that also get inserted so for that purpose we have to use delta load for for new file we have to use um, that full load i'll update here okay so this is called a full load or init load init load basically initial load okay and for the next time when we process this file we will call it delta load delta load okay so in adf what happened if you are processing it for first time that file so we have to select that full load we have to trigger some we have to workflows defined so you have to trigger the full load if you are going to perform delta load delta load so in that case you have to run that delta workflow okay so now uh, now this time we have to update this record with the new chain that is bangalore but we are not going to delete the old record so what happened that record record will still present in the database but this time we will insert a new record neha roy neha roy but the city got changed from mumbai to bangalore and the star date here uh, when we have a start date would also be same because this is the start date but in the new record what will happen it active record will be flag will be one and for the old one it will be zero okay and also that end date will be so this time suppose we have processed this file on 26th okay so we will update this end date with the this date okay because this time this date only we have received our new record so we have so that start date also get changed for this record so because this date we have received a new record for, for this id okay this id will also be changed one two and three one two two and three so now what happened if you will write any query just to get the new just to uh, get the city of that neha you have to include that select star from you have to write like this way select star from suppose that is a emp table from mp table where active flag flag equal to 1 so you want to if want to get the uh, different ids then select id and city so this way you will get the um, recent city for that for any for all the uh, that uh, employees okay so this is called a delta load now next time what happens suppose there is a, a new record let me copy all this okay 
so this time we have all the entries but also we, uh, we are receiving new record okay so new record is like um, Kapil Singh City Asthane so this time this is a new record so again we have to run the delta load okay again we have to run the delta load to insert this record so this time what happen it will insert only this record in the table okay i suppose we have processed this file on 27 so it will update the insert date as 27 and the start date would be 27 okay so this is how the load works in ETL testing so I hope it is uh, pretty much clear to all of you so in case you have doubts so please let me know and also please um, uh, tell me what video should I prepare for my next um, session okay okay then till then thank you